Good morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy. I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you have questions about formulations, ingredients, skin health, skin health questions, skin product questions, if you've read about something, heard about something you want clarification on, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. We are here for you. We want to be your go-to resource for all things health and nutrition. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products or join the Brightside Ben team, if you want to start a business for a one-time $25 fee, you can have your own business and work for yourself, get all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, and um, offer a one-time $25 fee. You're not going to start a business anywhere for that. If you're entrepreneurially minded, if you're business minded, or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee, you can join the Brightside Ben team. Call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or head over to my website's brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can sign up right off the websites. And of course, you can purchase products right off the websites as well. Well, if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, if you're dealing with acne or blemishes or you want to prevent scar formation from acne or blemishes, check out our Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Balm, and of course our Retinol 5% Gel made with 5% Retinol. You don't see that anywhere. There's no products anywhere that have 5% Retinol, especially including vitamin C. So not only do you get 5% Retinol, but you get a whole big old dose of fat-soluble premium vitamin C in our retinol 5% gel. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, surfactants, water, or anything your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You can check out all of them, including our Truth blog, our Truth Skin Health blog at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. We have been talking about the relationship of overall health as well as beauty and physical appearance and aging and the body's connective tissue, the fibers and goo, the uh, collagen, the elastin, the so-called polysaccharides and proteoglycans, protein sugar complexes and, and uh, protein fibers that make up what's called the connective tissue. As we get older, this gooey substance becomes less gooey, we become harder, we become more fibrotic, and this we become more mineralized, more calcified, and this is one of uh, this is the major reason for our uh, for our, for the, for aging and for our ultimate demise. One of the most common ways this uh, stiffened, hardened connective tissue shows up is as neuropathies. I've been getting a lot of letters on peripheral neuropathy and also on restless leg syndrome. I got a call yesterday from a lady who was dealing with restless leg syndrome. This is a really miserable condition, affects up to 15% of Americans. 
doctors are mystified. Medical research still feels like restless leg syndrome is some kind of mystery. Doctors say its causes are unknown, and they're pretty much only tools they can give you for restless leg syndrome are antidepressants and pain relievers. Nonetheless, because the condition restless leg syndrome is typically accompanied by heart problems, lung problems, kidney problems, circulatory problems, arthritis issues, sometimes autoimmune diseases, electrolyte deficiency. Because of all of these links, it's a syndrome, it's restless leg syndrome, there are clues to really what is causing this thing. Like, like many health challenges, restless leg syndrome is like potato chips, like Lay's potato chips. Nobody has just one. Nobody has just one, sin, uh, one uh, symptom of a syndrome. According to a July 2000 article published in the journal Sleep Medicine, quote, RLS patients, restless leg syndrome patients, are much more likely to have previously been diagnosed with movement disorders, musculoskeletal disorders, and painful conditions such as joint and back disorders, unquote. It's part of a syndrome. These things all occur together. And what is it that movement disorders and musculoskeletal disorders and joint and back disorders and restless leg syndrome have in common? The connective tissue. Yes, RLS is a connective tissue, largely anyway, a connective tissue problem. RLS is part of a fabric, it's a thread that's part of a fabric of diseases and you cannot, or not diseases necessarily, but symptomology, and you can't address RLS without addressing the underlying bodily dysfunction that causes it. You have, uh, if you have RLS, you're probably going to be dealing with insomnia. You're probably going to be dealing with chronic fatigue. You're probably going to be dealing with anxiety symptoms, depression symptoms. You may have diabetes and obesity and just generalized pain. Restless leg syndrome has also been linked to rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune diseases. RLS is a miserable condition. If, anybody, if you know anybody who's dealing with, just ask them. If you're dealing with it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It involves this weird sensation in the legs and this desire to move the legs to relieve the cramping, itching, creepy crawly sensations can occur. And this obviously can have a negative effect on sleep and ultimately a negative effect on quality of life. And the medical model is absolutely helpless at dealing with it because it's not a medical problem. Our diseases are not medical problems. Medical problems should be reserved for trauma and mechanical issues. Doctors are absolutely, completely helpless for deal, uh, at dealing with chronic degenerative diseases, at dealing with issues like restless leg syndrome. That's why if you go to the doctor for restless leg syndrome, you're going to get uh, Desirel or Trazodone, which is an antidepressant. You may get amitriptyline or Elevil, another antidepressant. You may get a pain reliever like Lyrica or Gabapentin, but that's about it. Nobody can address restless leg syndrome because restless leg syndrome, rest, uh, the symptoms of restless leg syndrome are not problems as much as they are signs of problems. You've got to go to where the problem begins, not the signs of the problems. This is the reason for the failure of the medical model for dealing with all chronic degenerative diseases. So you want to look at neuropathies and restless leg syndrome as issues that involve the fascia and the connective tissue. How does this work? Well, the connective tissue and the fascia cover everything up inside the body. It's like we have a skin in, underneath our skin. The connective tissue and the fascia are a, an underneath layer of skin. They're like a shrink wrap that covers all of the internal structures of the body. The organs, the glands, the tissues, the muscles, and the nerves. It's all shrink wrapped and encased in this protective connective tissue covering. Over the course of time, as the effects of nutrition, uh, electrolyte deficiency, nutritional deficiencies, toxicity from sugar, from cigarette smoke, from digestive toxicity, digestive, uh, uh, digestive uh, problems that lead to food toxins and food allergens getting into the blood, as the uh, effects of uh, long-term use of medication and drugs, hypoxia, low levels of oxygen and inflammation and psychological stress, and cortisol, all of these accrue, all of these problems start to build up and eventually the connective tissue will be affected. The connective tissue will then shrink even tighter, it will become dehydrated, it will become hardened, it will become fibrotic and this tightening effect on all the glands and the organs and the systems of the body is why we get sick. When it affects the nerves, when the tightening effect uh, uh, affects the nerves, you'll end up with nerve pain, you'll end up with neuropathies, and you'll end up with restless leg syndrome, 
And the way you want to address the problem is by dealing with the connective tissue, which we'll talk about when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. side and our lines are open 844-236-6010 is our number if you're dealing with rls restless leg syndrome or neuropathies or skin health issues or any kind of health challenges we're here for you 844-236-6010 of course if you have a comment or success story now's the time to get on board we've got no calls 844-236-6010 is our number and if we do get calls we'll get them in our next segment if you want to purchase any of our longevity products, please head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website, and you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. If you're in the Austin, Texas area, I'll be doing a presentation in Austin on the uh, 26th of January. That's, what is that, two weeks two weeks from yesterday, the 26th of January. I'll have more information for you. Uh, about a presentation about my presentation in Austin, Texas. Love to see you out there, Je uh, January 26th, 2017. And if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, please head over to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so the connective tissue, restless leg syndrome, neuropathies, they're all part and parcel of the same issue. Shrinking, uh, shrinking, the, the body shrinking, the, the, the fascia inside the body that covers up the nerves, covers up the organs, covers up the various glands and tissues, shrinks over time. That shrinking effect pulls on things, and this can lead to neuropathies, pain, and the doctors will be mystified. They won't know what the heck's going on, but it doesn't matter because it's not a doctor issue. If you're dealing with restless leg syndrome, work on your connective tissue first. That means bone broth protein. That means vitamin C. That means essential fatty acids. That means your mighty 90 essential nutrients. That means working on the digestive system. That means stabilizing blood sugar. And, of course, it means eliminating toxicity. Have you heard this before? Yes. This is what we talk about all the time. Every single health challenge you can name responds to the same basic strategies. And this is why doctoring is irrelevant. This is why the medical model, it doesn't matter. We don't need the medical model. Not, for one thing, they can't do anything about it. For another thing, it's not in their purview. It's not part of what they do. But it's part of what we can do. Dealing with these kinds of issues are lifestyle questions. The connective tissue, the shrinking of the connective tissue, which is behind almost all chronic degenerative diseases as well as, as well as accelerated aging, is a lifestyle matter. We talked a lot about stretching and yoga. Yoga is not some kind of airy-fairy new age phenomena. Reading from uh, the journal The Cochrane Library, quote, yoga may have health benefits for people with chronic, nonspecific lower pain. A new systemic review published in the uh, Cochrane Li Library today, uh, this was yesterday, January 12th, suggests that yoga may lead to a reduction in pain and functional ability in people with chronic, nonspecific lower back pain. Now, I'm telling you, if you are uh, experiencing the effects of aging, or if you're young and you're experiencing the effects of aging, if you're young and you're dealing with restless leg syndrome or neuropathies or fibromyalgia or chronic pain, one of the all-time great non-medical, non-toxic uh, non strategies that you can utilize on your own at home or in a yoga class is, uh, is all of the stretching and movement that's associated with yoga. Yoga, and by yoga, by the way, I'm talking about the physical yoga. There's mental yogas and there's all kinds of spiritual yogas and there's different, yoga just means yoke, to connect. So when we talk about yoga on this program, we're talking about the physical stretching. Forget the word yoga, just physical stretching. Yoga happens to be a, a, a science, a stretching science, physical yoga, hatha yoga, for example, has, happens to be a, a, physically, a physical stretching science that has been studied for thousands of years. But you don't have to, don't, don't be put off by the word yoga. The fact of the matter is stretching the body is one of the most functional and positive things you can do for your health and for uh, your beauty and physical appearance as well. Drugs can't do any of that. The doctor can't help you anywhere. I'm telling you, if you have back pain, what, the doctor's going to want to do a surgical procedure for your back pain. 
we got to get this out of our heads that these kinds of conditions that are part and parcel with the aging process and, and with our messed up lifestyle around food and, and toxicity are medical issues. They're not. Nowhere is this more, uh, is this more uh, clear, this example of the failure of the medical model, than when it comes to dermatology and skin. Skin issues are connective tissue issues for the most part. There are some surface problems, yes, contact dermatitis perhaps, or, or, or burns or abrasions, those can be issues too. But for the most part, our skin problems, whether they're uh, vasculitis or whether they're acne or, or eczema or psoriasis or dry and sensitive skin, are connective tissue related. Remember, the connective tissue, in addition to protecting the inside of the body, also delivers nutrition. The connective tissue delivers oxygen, and the connective tissue detoxifies. So it's not only encasing and protecting and connecting, it's also detoxifying and nutriating and, and oxygenating. Remember the three causes of cell disease, starvation, suffocation, toxification. If you want to know about health or the lack thereof, that's all you need to understand. Starvation, suffocation, toxification. This leads to a disruption in, in cellular health. This leads to a breakdown in, the, in the, the cell's shape. That leads to inflammation, which leads to more starvation, suffocation, and toxification. That means nutrition. That means uh, oxygen and breathing and respiration. And of course, it means avoiding toxicity or supporting the, the removal of toxins. And these are all about the connective tissue. And nowhere is this clearer than in the skin. The skin, uh, skin aging is a result of dysfunctional connective tissue, specifically what's called the extracellular matrix, the goo. The uh, connective tissue is made up of fibers and goo. The goo, the fibers give the connective tissue strength, but the goo is what feeds and what, uh, what oxygenates and what detoxifies the cells. As we age, the goo becomes stiffer. The goo becomes fibrotic. The goo becomes less, less flexible. And then so does our skin. The skin becomes stiffer. The skin becomes less flexible. So, uh, wrinkles are a cause of, uh, are caused by a lack of skin flexibility, a lack of skin resilience. That's what a wrinkle is. And you can use all the Cindy Crawford, Dr. Savak melon extract you want, and it isn't going to make a wits bit of difference. The only thing topically that is going to affect uh, wrinkles and fine lines and crow's feet and all the signs of aging are going to be nutrients because nutrients, specifically vitamin A and vitamin C, because those are the only two nutrients that will get into the connective tissue. Melon extract is not going to get into the connective tissue. Sorry, Cindy Crawford. Melon extract doesn't go into the connective tissue when you put it on topically. Only vitamin C and vitamin A will. You can also use alpha hydroxy acids, as we've said, because that stimulates. That doesn't go in necessarily to the connective tissue, but it turns it on. Between vitamin C, vitamin A, and alpha hydroxy acids, you've got the only three ingredients you need for dealing with aging skin, for preventing aging skin, and for reversing the signs of aging skin. And it's not just wrinkles and thinning skin that are the end result of connective tissue breakdown or fib fibrosis in the extracellular goo, the extracellular matrix. You want to regard all skin problems first as connective tissue problems. Unless you have a contact issue where you put something on top of your skin and you get a rash, all connective tissue problems or all skin problems should be regarded as connective tissue problems, all of them. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open. We'll take a commercial break and come back with more good health information and hopefully your phone calls on the bright side right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number if you have questions about the longevity products, health questions, you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, or if you just have a comment or a success story, we especially love hearing success, success stories. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. And 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. We have search engines up. You can search for various topics or shows if you may have missed 
uh, missed a program or if you want to refer a customer, client, friend, or relative to any of our programs, brightsideben.com has a search engine, as does Ben Fuchs Archives. Thank you, Peter, in the UK for setting that one up, benfuchsarchives.com. Okay, we'll get your calls here in just a second. I want to read... Uh, we have a few stories here, interesting stories from the University of California, San Diego School of Medicine. One session of moderate exercise can act as an anti-inflammatory. How do you like that? This is uh, published in the journal Brain, Behavior, and Immunity. Researchers found that one 20-minute session of moderate exercise can stimulate the immune system and produce an anti-inflammatory cellular response. Why is this important? Because it highlights the idea that our medical issues are lifestyle issues. Our health challenges are lifestyle issues. These are non-medical strategies like uh, going to the gym or riding your bike or walking briskly around the, walk or, uh, around the block or taking a, a, a run up the stairs. These are anti-inflammatory strategies that are non-toxic. These are anti-inflammatory strategies that require no insurance. These are anti-inflammatory strategies that require zero medical intervention. And this is what we want to be focusing on if we're not healthy. Non-medical me uh, non health strategies. Things that we can do on our own. We want to be freed from medical tyranny because medical tyranny is useless. It doesn't help us. It only, it's only self-serving. It pr helps the institution of medicine. Institutions don't care about individuals. It's always the institution versus the individual. Whether it's a political institution, a legal institution, or a medical institution, the individual loses whenever there's an interaction. We see this everywhere where, when systems become institutionalized. Thus, the importance of lifestyle strategies like exercise. 20 minutes of exercise is better than Motrin and doesn't cause any kidney problems. Gastric acid sup uh, suppressants linked to hospitalization. New research has found a link between popular heartburn drugs and an increased risk of gastroenteritis. This is an illness, this is an Australian study, an illness that results in 13.1 million lost days of work in Australia every year. Gastroenteritis digestive issues. Well, of course, if you take a drug that suppresses acid, you're going to end up with a digestive health issue because acid is important. You can't take a drug willy-nilly just taking it and not expect to have some kind of negative side effects. Once again, the failure of the medical model is demonstrated loud and clear. If you take a PPI drug, you're going to be at risk for kidney issues, you're going to be at risk for Alzheimer's disease, you're going to be at risk for osteoporosis, and now according to this article, which was uh, uh, from the Sachs Institute, uh, which is a part of the Australian National University, published in the journal PLOS1, Public Library of Science 1. Now, you'll be at risk for gastroenteritis. Should be as no comes no surprise to anybody. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go off to Tennessee and welcome Rosie to the Bright Side. What's up, Rosie? Good morning. Yes, Ben, I've been taking all your advice. I've been listening to you for years now. Nice. And I have a very sensitive stomach after Thanksgiving uh, getting together. I had a tremendous pain uh, in my uh, stomach and uh, for two weeks after we had the fire in Gatlinburg. Anyway, I managed to get to uh, the doctor's office. They sent me to a specialist. I did the undo. Also endoscopy. for endoscopy, and they found a, a polyp. They took it out for analysis, biopsy, but they found gastritis, and they found hiatal hernia. Hi, hi, hiatal hernia. hernia. Yes, and I uh, read on online that the extra virgin Siberian pine nut oil can help. That's only but because somebody's selling extra. That's all. Hang on, Rosie. The only reason somebody wrote. Stomach, I can't eat or drink anything really. Any, I am in misery for the last three, four weeks. Okay, well, let's fix you up here. First of all, it, it, it is so nasty for somebody to tell you that extra virgin pine nut oil is going to help your digestive condition. It's mean, it's nasty, it's anti humanity, it's greedy, it's awful. It, okay, you don't that. have an issue with ga you don't have an issue with a shortage or a deficiency in pine nut needle. What you have is something that just get, well at this point it's tumbling out of control, but it begins with a food that you're not supposed to be eating. 
Now, at this point, I'm guessing you're in your 40s or 50s. It's starting to tumble out of control, and you've got other problems. But I we got to begin. I'm 68. Okay, 68. So you've got a lot of other problems. But we got to begin I've at been, the beginning. I've been taking Amoprazole, and the specialist said that Amoprazole for years, taken every day, is no good. And of course, that's what it's no good. the polyp in the stomach. Very so likely. You said every other day is okay. No, it's not. I, I, <laughs> It's I not every other day. We, uh, Rosie, stop talking. Sweetheart, sweetheart, sweetheart. I'm going to help you. Yeah. Stop. I yeah. understand. I get the picture, okay? So yeah, Omeprazole for... Pain. Okay, I'm I got pain. you. Well, let's, let's stop the pain. We're going to fix you up, okay? So listen up. Go get a pen if you mm-hmm. don't have one, because I'm going to give you a bunch of information. First of okay. all, for the listeners and for you, Omeprazole is exactly what I was just talking about before, before we got yes, you on the phone. You're Omeprazole. right. Okay, so yes, of course. Omiprazole is a, is a PPI drug. It's a gastric acid suppressant drug. And I was just reading how it's related to hospitalizations for gastroenteritis, which is a digestive yeah. condition. So here's the deal. You've got some kind of food that you've been eating for a long time that is causing a problem. So what you want to do to stop the pain is stop eating for two days or three days. Now, if you can't, I, I suggest a fast. In fact, I would highly recommend a fast. If you can't fast, do, do a Swero V cleanse. This is for everybody listening, not just for Rosie. If you can't fast, do a Swero V cleanse, which is where you use half a bottle of Swero V, a longevity product. You can, you can call the 866-735-2470 and ask them for Swero V. That's spelled S-U-E-R-O-V-I-E. It's a fermented whey product. We'll say again. S-U-G. E, S as in Sam, U as in Uncle, E as in Edward, R as in Randy, O as in Oscar. And then the second word is V. V is in Victor, I is in Igloo, E is in Edward, Swero V. And that is a, a, a drink that was formulated by Jordan Rubin for folks who don't want to fast or for folks who want to do a cleanse. It's just fermented whey with electrolytes. It will give you energy. You don't need to be cleansing or fasting to benefit from this stuff. It's a great drink for the middle of the day when you don't want to eat or if you don't want to snack and you're feeling tired. It's an energizing drink. It'll give you your electrolytes. It's great for your cardiovascular system, but it's ideal for, for uh, helping folks who don't want, to eat, don't want to eat solid food but don't want to fast. I like a fast, personally. But if you can't fast, do a Swero V cleanse. Either way, do it for two or three days. Your pain will subside. Now, you do have to eat again, obviously. But when you eat again, Rosie, I hope you're listening here, ma'am. When you I'm, eat I'm again... Write it down. Okay, yeah. when you're eating again, you start off with one food and one food only. And you eat that food all day. Or as long as, un, until you experience either digestive issues or no digestive issues. If you experience digestive okay. issues, you'll know that's a problem food. But you got to pick one food. And you got to eat simply. Okay. Hang on. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. This is extremely important. Okay. Because okay. this, is a health, this is a health strategy that everybody can benefit from. Not just Rosie or not just if you're dealing with digestive health issues. Any, anybody dealing with an inflammatory condition will benefit from what I'm talking about here. So we'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the bright side. 